When doing Diels Alder retrosynthesis, what we're trying to do is determine the starting materials that could be used to form the product. Here we have a Diels Alder reaction product, and you should spot that quite easily because of the six membered ring. And if we want to think about breaking this apart to figure out what starting materials it could have come from, you want to think about where your diene would be and where your dienophile would be. So your dienophile would come from these two carbons, your diene from these four carbons, and if we're thinking backwards and breaking this apart, we're going to break these bonds. Here is our retrosynthesis arrow, which again just tells us we're going backwards. And if we break this apart, we can draw our diene and then our dienophile. And one thing you want to pick out with this is since your product has the two groups trans, make sure you draw them on your dienophile trans. We have a methyl and an ethyl ester. So that's just working backwards to see what starting materials we would need to form this particular product.